You just saved the best for last. Yes, I did. Or is it the oldest? <laughs> well, I got most of these people by a couple of years, and I see some people out there who I had in the sixth grade <laughs> before. And Mr. Bregano's my compatriot, and in a couple of years he's going to see a grandchild. And I think then it's time for us to go. So we'll see. Uh, this was a great sixth grade year. Um, a bunch of really good students. Uh, we had a new math program, Accelerated Math. It's amazing since January um, how much work the kids have done. Um, I know we have one young lady who's tested on over 100 objectives uh, since then. And we have a few others that are in the 80s and 90s are getting close. Um, we just took the STAR math test. Um, uh, last week, and they showed as a group um, a year and a half um, growth in just one year. So I, I think that's marvelous. <laughs> uh, so I suppose we should start with those awards here. First, Greg Palin, uh, Hannah Henriksen, Laura Donner. I also have the privilege to teach language arts, and uh, we have some awards there. And part of language arts is reading, and we had some young sixth grade students that really excelled. And that would be Caitlin Good Enough. David Billman, <laughs> Erica Zendarski, who pretty much every morning hands me a book and wants to read another one. Is that right, Erica? <laughs> and Lillian. Language arts, it was sort of hard to choose because we have a lot of young people who were doing very well, not only in spelling, but in their writing and uh, penmanship and everything else that we do. Um, these folks really did 